Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be playing Lord of the Rings War in the North. So, I got to pick which, which person I played as and I picked the, um, the guy with the um, sword in the bar, I don't know how to pronounce his name, and it's loading. The loading screen. Gain experience to level up to then spend your, the points. I can't read. Of the great Lord of the Ring, many songs have been sung and many tales told. The names of heroes like Gandalf the Grey, Aragorn the King, and Frodo the Ring Baron are greatly revered, and rightly so. Yet Sauron's grass stretched much further than the lands of Gondor and Rohan alone. And his forces might have done great evil in the north of Middle-earth, had a handful of heroes not stood in his path. Their stories, too, deserve to be told. Pay heed now to one such tale, which begins here in the town of Bree. Just a few short days before Frodo arrived on his quest. So I'm not gonna try to talk when they're talking much. Eredar, well met. And in company with Andriel of Rivendell and Farin of Erebor. An unlikely trio to find walking through the doors of the Prancing Pony. You were at Sarn Ford last I knew. Do you bear news from Harbana? Yes. Good news. I feared it would be so. Quickly, tell me what has happened, but keep your voices low. There are unfriendly ears, even here in Bree. Three days past, the guard at Sonford was attacked by nine black riders. Black riders. Just turn the volume up a little bit. But he's going to be murdered. I know these riders. It is from Mordor they come. Everybody's getting murdered. Getting run over by horses. Our folk could not hope to stand against the nine together. How bad were our losses? Very bad. We tried to resist them, but they were surrounded by an aura of unnatural dread. There is more you should know. After the rout, one of the black riders met with an ally, a man of great malice and power. The body must be hungry for blood. Look at that guy. As a master commanded, I have stirred up the orcs of the mountains. Even now, I have a force gathering amid the ruins of old Fornost. Return at once and prepare your forces. We will have my orcs will be ready. These lands have known peace for too long. They will soon feel the Dark Lord's wrath. Dun dun dun. Things are getting real, guys. If this Agandau has a force at Fornost, then our position grows all the more desperate. But why all this force against the peaceful halflings? It can't be the enemy sees them as a threat. I will say this much. There is a hobbit of the Shire who should be coming this way with a great burden. If it falls into the hands of the enemy, it will mean doom for us all. Now this hobbit is adrift on the road with enemies all around. I must find him before they do. And I need you to help me keep him safe. You are my chieftain. I will gladly do whatever you command. I, I'm a part of this now as well. Then we three are of one mind. How can we aid you? Um, kill we people. must reduce the threat Can't from the enemies gathered at Fornost. Travel there and do whatever you can to keep the enemy's eye turned towards you and away from the Shire. Perhaps we will have help in this task. Eladan and Elro here were in the north when last I heard. Any gathering of the enemy is certain to attract their attention. Good. 
good. I find no better allies than the sons of Elrond, half elven. I hope we meet. But with or without help, the enemy will be kept busy. That's who I'm playing. Make sure that guy. I was just talking. So you get to pick out of the three people, and I pick that guy. Let's see. Okay, can I kill people? Back in. No, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to kill people. Can I ride this one? I don't want to ride this one. I can't kill the horse either. Okay. So we're in the town and it's raining and I'm wet. I'm not going to go to the box. Okay. So it's this button to spring. Guess I have to go to this magical shiny thing. Ooh, okay. I think I have to go here. A hey, travel here. See, this is where we get to murder people. But not at your people. Um, long loading. Yeah, here we go. These ruins behind a large army. We might even now be under the gaze of unfriendly eyes. Well, we came to provide a distraction for Eric. And what better way to do that than walking in the front door? Here we go. Let's be about it. Okay, good. I get to murder these guys. Oh yeah, I get to murder them. Murder them. Murder them. So if you hit Y, it's like a more powerful attack. Okay, now I'm gonna go and then kill the little baby. Oh, I'm blowing him I just chopped his head off. Whoa. The slow motion head chopping off thing. There's more, there's more. I'm gonna chop off his head again. How do I do that? Oh, I told him. So I have this bow. How do I use it? Oh, oh, I did it again. Chopping out these books. Okay, so this is how I how do I shoot it? Okay. Kinda wasting the arrow. Uh oh. Sniper. Now I can use model. I got a bow too. Oh, are they flaming? Is that flaming arrow? That's a bad flaming arrow. Oh no, I got snuck at the room. Die. Die. Oh, I did it again. Man. This guy really likes chopping off people's heads. Jeez. Oh. Die. I got six more. That was too close for comfort. You have my thanks. Break these things. Yeah. What's that? Oh, it looked like meat. I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, I got more arrows. Good. How many arrows do I have? 40 arrows. Okay. Okay. What do I got from here? Uh. Like, what's that? I got a power potion. What does that do? Give me more power. What's this? I got a drinking horn. Uh, loot. Oh, no, oh. Whoa, that's a ton of coins. 
Okay, there's more, I hear. Put some detail. Oh, oh. Whoa, it's like a movie. Oh, I almost killed that one. I got my, my pal. He's my homie. Yeah, that's my fault. Slice you up. I will help you. Oh, I didn't chop his head off. Ooh, body he's laying here. Whoa, stuff. More arrows. Like I need more. The gate is open. Another more. They're, they're everywhere. Oh no, look at that. What? Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh he's like reviving me. Okay. Reviving me. Yay. I thought when you died, you were dead. But that's good. I don't have to worry too much about dying. Oh, I think you can revive other people, which is good. So when they die, I can revive them. Oh, I chopped his arm off. This guy is no joke. I still don't know how to pronounce his name. How did they gain level? I didn't gain level. I mean, killed more people than that. Where the heck do I go from here? Okay, there's the chest that I got arrows out of. Still 40 arrows. Oh, I thought I had more. Maybe that's like the max. Because I had like 6, 12 more. Where do I go? I'm lost. Okay. Maybe in here. Yeah, I'm guessing in here because I haven't been in here yet. Yeah, I would have pulled those things and just pass by. Oh no. I saw the guy. Okay. Everyone These ruins are not sound. Well, it's like a sewer system. With no water. Oh wait, there is water. I think. Hope that's water. Yeah. I can't jump over. Oh no. What is that? Whoa, the little midgets. Whoa, I chopped his head off again. I really, this guy really likes chopping people's heads off. Why can't I jump off the stairs? I don't want to jump off the stairs and break my legs. Oh no, there's, there's millions of them. What are they? The goblins. Look at them. They're like synchronized runners. They, do the, they have the exact same moves. Whoa. Oh, there's Zed. Man. This guy really likes having to just have a Jeez. Wait. New items. Oh, my arrows. That's what I needed. These guys are getting destroyed with my sword. Look, he came out of the hole! He came out of the hole! Can we, like, plug up those holes? This guy's big. He does not belong here. He's not strong. Oh, there goes his arm, so we don't have to worry about that guy. Oh, now we have to worry about this guy die. Hopefully I can chop this guy's arm off too. I like chopping people's hands off. Oh no, I just ripped out his eye. That's pleasant. That is very pleasant. Oh no, I got shot. And I barely flinched. That's awesome. This guy's amazing. I cut his throat open. Dang, what the, did that, that guy just disappeared. I really chopped him up. Hey, get over here. Where you guys coming from? Are you guys coming from those windows? Those evil windows? Oh, they, I chopped his legs off. Whoa, chopped his leg. Look at his foot. There goes the song. 
<laughs> this is not right. Oh, this thing's healing me, this bubble. It's the heal bubble of truth. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. I will see you guys next episode of Lord of the Rings War in the North. See ya.